Books Aren't for Eating by Carly Sorosiak. Read by Mr. C, the teacher. Leopold collected two things that he loved very, very much. Warm sweaters, with goats on them, of course, and books, once he learned not to eat them and how to turn the pages. Sometimes he imagined himself inside the books he read. He was a pirate, a figure skater, an astronaut gently floating through space. It was comforting to become these characters, to live in their worlds. But his favorite thing was picking out books for others to read. It gave him such a pleasant feeling, like introducing someone to a friend. Leopold owned an old bookshop with tiny aisles and huge shelves, and he selected the books very carefully. For the witty woman in the feathered hat, he suggested a book about birds. Crows, Leopold thought, are clever too. A man in a gray coat said he'd like to laugh with his whole belly. So Leopold found a novel about gnomes, which was very funny indeed. He chose an adventure tale for the girl in rain boots. She had the spirit of an explorer. He recommended books about everything. Hula hoops, faraway places, dogs of the world. Each fit its reader snugly and warmly, like a sweater. This made Leopold happy. Most of his customers were human, but one day Leopold was overjoyed to see another goat walking into the shop. How may I help you? Leopold asked. I'd like a nice book if you'd be so kind. I have just the thing, said Leopold. In the back room, Leopold selected a story from his special collection. Very good, the customer said. Then he ate the pages. No, Leopold cried. Books aren't for eating. Oh, dear, said the goat. I'm terribly sorry. What are they for, then? So Leopold resolved to show him. He would find the perfect book for reading, not for eating. He searched far and wide through stack after stack. He even used the tall ladder. How's this? Excellent, chomp, chomp. What about this? Brilliant, munch, munch. Book after book, the goat ate them all. This is going on your bill, said Leopold. Goodbye, said the goat. At dinner that night, Leopold's wife asked him about work. I had a tricky customer, Leopold said. He kept eating the books. Well, so did you once. That was a long time ago, Leopold said. But it gave him an idea. The next morning when the goat came back, Leopold was ready. This was my favorite book, he said. The first one I didn't eat. It excited me, challenged me, and made me feel less alone. The goat looked at the book, and looked, and opened his mouth. Suddenly the book flipped open to page one. Oh, said the goat. 
He read the first line, then the next, and the next. He couldn't stop. All day he curled up in the shop and read. Leopold smiled, heart aglow. I'll pick out some more for you tomorrow. Thank you, the goat said. These stories fill me up. Some books are just too good to eat. <laughs>